At about 2 p.m. yesterday, the mainstream corporate press uh, assured us that the U.S. and Israel had nothing to do with this terrorist bombing in Tehran. I beg to differ. Even if it was carried out by agents of ISIS, I think it's important to remember that both Israel and the U.S. have kept ISIS on a short leash. This would be anathema to the majority of people in the United States who would try to fervently deny this and wipe the hands clean of the U.S. and Israel. But there's an abundance of uh, proof. Uh, we can go back to uh, Jake Sullivan, National Security Advisor's uh, statement that Al-Qaeda and the U.S. had the same interests in Syria. We can go back to Benghazi and look at the U.S. officials operating with diplomatic cover. Um, WikiLeaks and Julian Assange uh, put out all of this information about how the U.S. had flooded the region with weapons from Benghazi to the ports in Turkey to the ports in uh, Syria. So just as, as they have destroyed Iraq, just as they have uh, destroyed Lebanon in 1982, they destroyed Yemen for the last uh, seven years, they destroyed Libya in 2011, they surely seek to destroy Iran, they killed Iran's most popular leader in 2020, and we're expected to believe, they think that we're so gullible, that we think that somehow the U.S. and Israel's hands are uh, clean and this terrorist bombing in Tehran, when they bomb uh, Syria and Lebanon and Iran every day. Uh, perhaps the Israelis are more hawkish, more to the right as they carry out this genocide of the Palestinian people. Does Genocide Joe really want that nickname to stick for history? Could there be a fallout between the Israelis and the U.S.? Is, is the U.S. trying to be a restraining factor um, on the Israelis? We have to go back to all of the different uh, cables. Uh, we have to remember that the, the, the CIA... They have an unvouchered uh, budget, an undisclosed budget. They don't have to leave a paper trail for all of the dirty work that they do. So just as Israel exists as one proxy force to do the U.S.'s dirty work to continue to pummel and recolonize the, the Middle East, they use ISIS in a similar way. Uh, it's important to read Aaron Matze and Max Blumenthal and these extraordinary investigative journalists who have provided us uh, with an abundance of proof that for the past decade, ISIS has, and Al-Qaeda and Al-Nusra, these terrorist outfits have been something that the CIA and the national security state and the Mossad and the Israelis uh, have worked with and, and, and weaponized when it was convenient for them. So I think we have to analyze the events in, 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 in Iran, taking all of that into consideration.